AkronHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. The time has finally come, Brother Melvin. What's happening? My bro? face is in the place. My voice has always been your choice, but yeah. my face is in the place for the one time. Give me a grip, bro. Hey, listen, Melvin, I appreciate you for helping us out at AkronHipHop.com to bring these um, important messages to the community for the community. Right. And when you come to town, you're always feeding the community with that good food for thought. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So today, we're going to talk about business real quick. We're going to talk about when creating a brick and mortar business, the top three things you need to be thinking of or you should be considering when putting your money into your dream. Number one, location. Talk about it. Well, location is... Uh is everything you know especially when it comes to uh, um, you know getting people to a specific area traffic people are gonna look at they're gonna look at the parking area they're gonna look at where you located they're gonna look at accessibility you know and, and a way to get out you know you know to and from you know and um, ideal you know uh, situation would be a drive through probably, but you know, if you can't do a drive through it's always good to have good parking and make sure you can accommodate those folks that want to support your business. And we also want to let everybody know, we're talking to the people that's thinking about doing their own business, we also want to let everybody know that uh, location cannot be in the nick, in the niche, or in the cut of your hood. Okay? It need to be in the main strip that's adjacent to the community, more importantly, to people outside of the community. And that's what 61 East Waterloo Road is all about. Absolutely. Perfect. Now, we're going to talk about the other thing. We're doing the top three things that's important when you're thinking about creating your own brick and mortar business here in 2021. Number two is advertising. Absolutely. Putting your face in the place and being consistent with your brand so people can understand. Talk about that, bro. Well, I mean, that's why I have uh, a relationship with HipHop.com. You better say it, don't you? know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, HipHop.com has been very helpful to me in my operations in terms of exposure and just really reaching out to the community to let them know what we're all about. Hey Amen. And that's important for those of you who don't know, if you're trying to put together a business and you are thinking about the operating budget of your business, which is in the top five, but we're going to talk about the top three. I call the operating budget your purse. Well, that's, uh, that's your P&M. You better that's say your it on the profit list. and loss. So, you better say it. I like that. So thing. having profit and loss, it gives you a picture of how your operation should be. Oh, yeah. I, sidebar, I got to say this. Um, if you if you operate a business right now and you're not writing down your daily amount made, you're not operating a business successfully. Because the, 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 the nature of a business, especially retail, is to post increase year to date. Right? So that means today, if we make $10,000, next year to date, we have a goal now. Our goal is to beat last year to date. So that means, I don't give a damn if we make $10,001, right. we posted an increase. Exactly. Okay, so now when I'm looking at my paperwork, I can see Last year we was we trended up. This year we trending down. That means we need to in, we need to infuse some more promotion. We need to create a different marketing technique. We need to let somebody know that we're still here before you push the panic button. That's what you. That's what about. That's what writing your your goals down, your plans down, and more important, your year to date numbers. Is and, that and, and that's profit and loss. Yeah, you know yeah. you you know you manage you're looking at your overall operations from a standpoint of profit and loss. You know, you're looking at what your labor is today right. versus tomorrow. You know, look, you're looking at what supplies you need to get, save, you know. You're looking at all of these things, and at the end of the day, you evaluate yourself day in and day out. Y'all hear this? This is some knowledge you can't get in college. He's giving it to you right here, 61 East Waterloo Road. Listen, and another thing I want to talk about, he touched on it a little bit. But I'm gonna touch on it right now. Now I've been in business for a long time. I've dealt with so many independently black owned businesses. I have ran through a lot of mistakes that was corrected. Yes. Because people, a lot of people just gun ho and doing the thing and that's great. But sometimes they need a little education 
for their elevation. You yeah, know what I'm trying to absolutely. Say? Um, parking is essential. Okay? Oh, yeah. Essential. Now, if you if you find a, a nice location that's got a lot of traffic, but they pass by and your parking is on the street, there's a big chance they're not going to stop. They don't. I'm not going to pay a forty dollar ticket for ten for ten dollar plate. Right. Or you know what I'm saying I'm not going to do that. So. Parking is essential. Like you say, they see that passing your stuff. And people coming back and forth to work, this is their regular route. Yeah. So they can see, do I want to um, embrace, or not, I'm saying, invest right. that time to go get that uh, product. Yeah, that, that's what it's about, man. So when you guys thinking about putting together your, your dream, dreams are something that you have in your head. Goals is something you have in the physical. Brother Melvin, you're living your dream. You're living your goal. You're making it happen, Captain. I'm proud of you. Well, I, I, you know, my my thing is, uh, we're still not where we want to be. Speak on that. I like that. We're still not where we want to be because where we want to be is we want to be able to, you know, make as much money as we can and support the community in every way we can. Well, you guys are definitely supporting the community. You guys giving second chances another chance. Yes. You guys are uh, making it happen. You guys are hiring the community. Well, somebody got to do it because if someone comes out of the penitentiary or whatever, at some point in time, they need to be provided an opportunity to, you know, regain their lives. Y'all better find, y'all, listen, you see this and everybody from within the sound of my voice need to get in touch with 61 East Waterloo Road. Let's talk about it real quick before we get out of here. Let's talk about the top three things people are coming in here to buy to feed themselves, Black man. Well, number one is chicken. You better you know, say it. Uh, you know, we we pride ourselves on our chicken and we pride ourselves on making sure that we provide good tasting chicken day in and day out. Uh, we have fish, you know, we, we pride ourselves on that also. And uh, we have other dishes such as we'll have gumbo. We got, uh, let me see, we got gumbo. We got po' boy sandwiches. We got all those different items. But the most important thing is that you look at our menu and we'll have something that you can go through day in and day out to enhance your flavors. Listen, as you can see, that's it's all about the flavor. It's all about the flavor. Tell everybody your operating um, schedule. Well, operating schedule, uh, you know, Monday through, excuse me, not Monday. We're off on Monday. Uh, Tuesday through Thursday, we're uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday, we're 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, Sunday, we're 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Somebody want to have a banquet here? Something like that. Um, do, you, do you rent out the, the den, the dining area, or no? Well, well, we, you know, everything is based is based on the is based on the case by case situation. I mean, if we can accommodate, you know, especially with COVID nineteen, us dealing with that, if we can accommodate uh, uh, that type of uh, setting, we will. What about the catering? Oh, we do catering. We will we'll do catering day in and day out. Give us a number for that, Black Man, so we can get out of here. Okay. Hiphop.com has the number on the screen. You better say that those so, players, man. So let's, uh, let's give that to the folks, and then we can uh, we can move forward. Listen, for African Hiphop.com, my brother Melvin, uh, Louisiana's famous fried chicken. We out.